Hello everybody, welcome to Sure Shot Archery and today I'm going to be telling you what bow you should buy and this time we're focusing on the riser. Um, I'm not going to be advocating a particular brand, you can buy whatever you like, it is your money to spend, but I just want to give you insight on all of these risers I have bought and have owned over all my years of shooting archery, which is over 10 now. Um, I just want to give you an idea on, you know, what you're kind of getting into, um, especially if you have like a young child that's interested in archery, or maybe you're an adult that's just starting archery. Um, you want to see where you want to start off in the market. You probably don't want to start off at the very high end because you're going to be spending a lot of money and your skill as a shooter isn't going to be there. So you're not really going to get the full value out of it and you're going to feel like you're wasting money. So, let's start off with my first bow, um, besides the ones I made in my backyard out of sticks. This is my first riser I ever got. Uh, of course, my parents bought this one because at the time I was about 12, 13 years old. Uh, made out of wood. It's got a stabilizer mounting point. Put a plunger on it and a sight. No clicker mount. But it was a, a great first step, a very affordable first step into archery. At that point, arrows were dirt cheap. The riser and the bow was, well, cheap compared to what I'm buying now. Um, I would say this riser with the limbs was around $100. Um, of course, we're just talking about the risers in this video, but um, a lot of the beginner equipment is sold as uh, sets. You usually get at least a riser, limbs, and a string all in one like combo package. When you get to the higher end equipment, you end up buying piece by piece, kind of like a, I guess an a la carte. You buy a riser, but then you have to buy the limbs for the riser. Uh, the string usually comes with the limbs, but then you gotta buy all the other little pieces that go along with it. So one, you gotta know what you're doing, and two, you gotta have some money laying around because bows are not cheap, especially the high end ones. But I'm going to be breaking this down into easy categories for you. So this is the beginner equipment. This is the other, I would say, beginner bow. It was my first real like competition level bow. Had a place to put a clicker. You know, still had your sight and your stabilizer mounts. Um, this also came with limbs. It's a PSE Sentry. And uh, this is a great little bow. I still use it in my Arrow Versus videos. Uh, made out of metal. Uh, it's made well. Um, $150 for the riser and the limbs with a string, which again is an incredible deal, especially when I compare it to what I'm buying now. These risers were great starting points for me and for me to get into archery, because if I had started out with something that was much more expensive, I would have been discouraged at the cost and the fact that, you know, I have this expensive equipment oh, and I'm not doing well. It's because you, the shooter, have to grow with your equipment, especially when you are a young adult or a child that's uh, starting archery. Now, as an adult, you're kinda, you, you kind of get stuck a little bit because you can't buy the real beginner, beginner equipment. These bows are too short for a majority of adults. As an adult, you're going to want to go for a more intermediate to slightly high-end bow just because of the size. You need a bow that matches your size, your height. And uh, that bow is going to cost more money because it's taking more materials and it's got to be made better in order to, you know, stay together. But uh, you can buy fairly inexpensive bows and I would say the, you know, two, maybe $300 range plus limbs. Um, that'll be perfect for a beginner adult. You could technically go cheaper than that. There's some brands that are now uh, selling uh, cheaper beginner equipment for adults. Of course, that wasn't around when I first started, even though I did start as a, uh, a child. So now that I'm finished with the beginner and intermediate bows, we're going to go on to the largest uh, category of bows I own, and that's the, uh, the advanced, the expert bows. Um, for like the professional shooter, per se, um, it's a very broad category, and nobody really just fits really well into it. Um, 
because I would say this category is filled out with people like me, but there's also people that you see on the World Cup circuit that are paid archers. I am not a paid archer. I don't get paid to shoot arrows. I wish, and at some point I intend to be. But until then, um, I'm buying high-level, high-grade risers because I intend on being on my country's national, international team, and one day, when the next Olympics comes up, their Olympic team. So I buy high-end equipment because I am trying to perform at a high level. And for the most part, I'm doing really well at that. But that came with time. And uh, that's not something you just start with uh, from the get-go. Uh, this is my first, I would say, real high-end bow. This is a Hoyt Formula HPX. I've owned two of these. I did sell one, um, but after that, I've moved on to GMXs. This first GMX is actually my brother's bow. He's taller than me, so he requires a, uh, a longer riser. This is a 27-inch. All these other risers from the formula down are all 25-inch, but a higher-end bow for you know higher-end shooting, what you're looking to achieve. My brother's a recreational shooter, but he's very tall. So he needs a longer riser and he needs long limbs in order for the bow to fit him properly. Now for me, these are my two new main bows. This is my current one that I shoot at all my tournaments. This will be my standard bow. Every single shoot I go to, I shoot this riser. Um, it's a great riser, well made, but then again, a bit expensive. You're, you're talking $600 plus for a riser. And uh, some of these companies make carbon risers. You could be going into seven, uh, I think there's one even for $800. Um, you kind of get what you pay for, but at the very high end level, it's a little bit of a, a mix um, because you're still just buying a bow that's very well made, very consistent. Um, what it's made out of is not necessarily a big deal. There's plenty of top shooters that shoot aluminum. There's plenty of top shooters that shoot carbon. It's whatever really you know suits your uh, needs or your fancy. Um, this is my newest riser. It's got nothing on it, bare bones. Just got to put it together still. Hopefully I can share a video of that with you. But as you can see, I've collected a lot of risers over the years. And I've spent a lot of money. Um, hopefully this video was informative where if you're looking to start archery, you realize now that you don't need the most expensive bow unless you want to spend your money for that, which is cool. Hey, go for it. And if you're, you know, currently shooting, maybe, hmm, you know what? I could I don't really need the latest and greatest. You know what? The older bow that I'm shooting is fine. Maybe I just want new limbs or you know, maybe I'd rather put the money on going to a new place, you know, a new a new tournament to shoot. I'm going to go travel a little bit. Um, so hopefully this, you know, helped you out in that respect and, uh, you know, makes your archery even better. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and as always, happy shooting.